know how a student team, an under-19 student team from Odisha's village, went to create history by winning the NASA Rover Challenge. Good evening, everyone. My name is Vaishali, and I am the co-founder of Young Tinker Academy, and this is our story. In 2013, I got into UC Burla for my engineering. I was fortunate enough to get an exposure of STEM field, STEM being science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It was during that time I started wondering how I can bring more girls and women into the field of STEM and hands-on learning. Later, during 2015, along with my co-founder, Mr. Anil Pradhan, I, we started experimenting with the rural students. We started with three students, and we introduced them to the hands-on learning concept and the STEM curriculum. You know, we introduced several innovative labs, to name a few. So this is basically the village. This is the Boilers Moja near Katak, where we started with the three students, and we had different labs. So the first one is Thor Ford Jod. So the name speaks for it. So here the student basically break, dismantle, and assemble any product. So during this process, they learn the mechanism behind the machines or whatever the thing they are working on. Then we have Zor Ka Jhatka, which is basically a electronics lab. So here students learn about circuit designing, different electronic components, and they work together to create different projects like humanoid, cube size satellite, and other things. Then we have Kabar Se Jugar. So this is basically an environmental lab. Here the students are taught the importance of reuse and recycling. The students create the best out of the waste. So here the students are in, like if you can see in the picture, here students are working on the old tires to create uh, like innovative furnitures. Then we also introduced digital content. So we created curriculum for on the topics like 3D printing, laser cutter, shouldering, and other hands-on topics that can be taught to these students. So as you can see here in the picture, each of the students have their own tablet, so they have their own login credential. And the important part is that everything was done in the indigenous language. So all the curriculum was done, and the UI and UX was done in the Odia language. So then we also had different uh, other laboratories, so, such as we also have Agri Lab. So if you would see, 70% of Indian population reside in a rural area, and they are either directly or indirectly dependent upon the agriculture. So this 70% population feed the entire 100% population. So which is why we gave an equal importance on teaching agriculture to the students of our school. So the three students then went on to become 300, 300 become 1,000, became 10,000, became 1 lakh, and now we have successfully impacted the lives of 1 lakh 50,000 plus students. So they started, apart from the traditional subjects, they started working on more and more on the practical concept. Like, as you can see, your students are working on a bamboo robot. So this robot was then used to take out the scrap out of the river. So they, every time a student, like we follow a concept of a, like a design thinking, so every time a student is given some of the problem statement, they are encouraged to identify the problem, the real life problems, and find the innovative solution for it. So this is one of the projects that they created. Then IIT Delhi also collaborated with us as a part of which 10 students every year came down to our village and they started interacting with the people, interacting with the rural people and identifying the problems for it. So they created several innovative projects, they interacted with the people and they found the real life solution. 
other uh, interns, volunteers, and people started joining us from the big engineering colleges and the management colleges like XIM, BIMs, and other places. So apart from focusing on the learning of the students, and also another important thing that I would like to add, like while we are focusing on teaching the student, we also focus on having more and more girls student in our uh, institute, in our centers. So I am proud to say that 65% of our students are girls. So along with the teaching, we also focus on how we can provide employment to the women. So we started helping them, we started uh, giving them exposure, different kind of exposure. So initially, they were trained with the teaching curriculum. So we gave them an initial training, and later these rural women started teaching about 3D printing, about shouldering, drilling, and all the kind of the um, like hands-on curriculum that you can imagine. They were also engaged in manufacturing, so as you can see here, two of the women are manufacturing a learning kit. So these uh, products, they later become like these are the patented products which are now sent all over the world. So Make in Odessa is happening here. And as you can see in the picture, these are the kits which are developed and created by the rural women are sent to all across the world. So now coming back to our students. So our students started participating in several competitions, several challenges, and one of the uh, successful story that I would like to share over here is about NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge. So we started looking for 10 students, students who were studying in different, so 10 under 19 students. So they were either studying in a school and some of them were also doing some odd jobs, jobs like working in a cycle repair uh, shop or working in a welding shop. And these 10 students were then identified from 10 different districts of Odessa to form a team. And they used the indigenous skill and knowledge to create a rover, a human-powered rover vehicle that was sent for the NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge. So now coming to, so if I have to talk about our student, like these 10 students, all of these 10 students are an inspiration. And I would like to select one such inspirational story to share with you. So this is basically a story of Rina. It was uh, uh, during like peak pandemic time, an 18 year old girl, she was, who has lost her father, she was looking for a job of a housemaid, but she failed to get one. Eventually, she ended up at a welding shop, and she, was, she wanted to get, like, do something. But that shop owner refused to give her a job because she was a girl. But Adam and Rina, she stuck over there, and she said, Mubi Welding Koribi. Seeing her... Dedication, seeing her passion, the shop owner gave her the job. It was during that time our team was looking for this under-19 team, and they discovered her. They saw her, the, they saw the passion in her, and they selected in that team. She was trained along with other nine students in our facility, and they were given hands-on uh, training to them who then competed, they not only participated, competed and won the World Rank 3. There were other teams from different countries. There were uh, teams from countries like Brazil, Germany, Australia, but none of those countries were able to defeat our Indian team, who was from Odisha. So now, now in 2021, we started, uh, we started this franchisee model with a brand name, Young Tinker Academy. So this is uh, the story of Rina, as you can see. So now we are creating innovators, makers, and entrepreneurs. 
and our, I'm happy to say now that our students are becoming entrepreneurs. So recently, one of our student, he got a grant from the Intel company. So you see any big competitions or challenges, our students are there. You just name anyone and our student will be competing those competitions. So this is uh, another competition that our student participated and they were selected for it. So in 2021, we started a franchisee model with a brand name Young Tinker Academy. So this is basically a tinker space for school students where they can come and do the hands-on learning. And they can also collaborate uh, to work together and create products for the future. So this academy not just connect the rural student, but it also connects the student from the urban places. So Everything in this academy that you can see, the furniture from the equipment to the learning kit, everything is, de is developed and manufactured in-house by our women team. So through this academy, we are also empowering women, women who want to become an entrepreneur, who want to start franchisee. They are most welcome to our space. So we have one of uh, such kind of academy here in Nayapali in Bhuvaneshwar. So, I, on this stage, I would like to welcome every one of you to visit this space. And if anyone who is looking to like skills school student and become an entrepreneur, they are most welcome. Thank you so much.